There's something about old, abandoned flats that carries a sense of dread, something you can't quite put your finger on, yet it gnaws at the back of your mind. When Emily and James moved into their new home, a flat long untouched by time, they thought they'd found a hidden gem. The rent was cheap, the location convenient, almost too good to be true. But good deals don't come without a price. At first it was the small things. The tap in the kitchen would be running when Emily entered, even though she knew she'd turned it off. The creaking sounds from the hallway at night, which James assured her were just the pipes settling. But the flat had a history, one that was eager to make itself known. Emily often found herself standing at the window of their tiny balcony, gazing down at the street below. It was on one such evening that she noticed something odd. There was a balcony below theirs, one that she hadn't seen before. An old, weathered chair sat there, as if waiting for someone to return. But when she called James over, the balcony had vanished. He laughed it off, blaming stress and tiredness. But Emily couldn't shake the image from her mind. A few nights later, the air grew heavier, the shadows in the flat darker. It felt as if someone, no, something, was watching. Emily decided to explore, hoping to distract herself. That's when she found it, a small dusty diary hidden behind a loose floorboard in the bedroom. The leather cover was cracked with age, and inside, written in spidery handwriting, was a name, the forgotten tenant. As Emily read through the pages, her heart pounded. The tenant had lived in this very flat years ago. His entries began innocently enough, but soon spiraled into desperation. He wrote about how his landlord had wronged him, tricked him, and eventually, buried him alive within the building. His last few entries were near illegible, filled with hatred and a promise of revenge. Emily showed James the diary, but he shrugged it off, calling it nothing more than an old ghost story. Still, that night, sleep didn't come easy. Days passed, and things only grew worse. Emily began hearing strange noises, footsteps behind her when no one was there, hushed voices whispering her name. She'd see glimpses of a shadowy figure in the corner of her eye, only for it to disappear the moment she looked directly at it. James, on the other hand, seemed unaffected, at least at first. One night, as Emily lay in bed, she woke to find James standing at the window, staring into the darkness. His face was pale, eyes wide with fear. When she asked him what was wrong, he simply muttered, I spoke to him. Who? Emily whispered, her stomach twisting with dread. The tenant, he replied, his voice barely audible. He wants something. From that night onward, James changed. He became distant, his eyes hollow. He'd spend hours in the flat, seemingly lost in thought, muttering to himself. Emily tried to reason with him, but it was as if he wasn't entirely there anymore, like someone, or something, had taken hold of him. Desperate for answers, Emily returned to the diary. She needed to know more about the tenant's past. That's when she found the most chilling entry, one that had been hidden within the folds of the book. I will not leave until I take what is mine. I am bound to this place, unless someone else takes my place. The pieces clicked into place. The tenant's spirit was trapped, but he could only escape by luring another soul to take his place in the flat. And now, it was after James. Emily knew she had to act fast. She confronted James, begging him to leave the flat with her, to abandon the cursed place. But James wouldn't listen. He claimed the tenant had promised him freedom. Freedom from everything that haunted him in life. Emily, terrified and unsure of what to do, made a decision. That night, she packed a bag and fled. But as she reached the door, she hesitated. Glancing back one last time, she saw something that froze her blood. In the reflection of the window, she didn't see James anymore. She saw the tenant, his cold, dead eyes staring back at her. As Emily ran into the night, she realized the truth. She wasn't free. The tenant had found his new victim, and it was James. But the flat remains, waiting, always waiting for its next tenants.